shift started um, at Stroud College. Um, I was there as a student doing my art foundation and I've been doing meditation and yoga since I was 12 and so that with my ongoing art practice really inspired this project and then I thought it would be really special for other people to have the opportunity. So I created Shift Festival um, and I connected with lots of different people in the community to put on this really exciting programme where we've got live music, martial arts, yoga classes, drawing workshops. And a second part of the project, which is kindly supported by the Barnwood Trust, is um, our outreach project where we've got school children coming in and they're doing um, a whole day of extracurricular arts and well-being. Lots of them have never done anything like this before. Um, and my main sort of takeaway point that I want them to work, walk away with is the fact that they can use their own breath to help them stay calm and present throughout life. At Widden, at our school, we have lots and lots of different communities, religions, faiths. So, for example, today we have four to six children here. Uh, I know between us, I think we only have about 10 native English speakers. Doing things like art and mindfulness here where the children are able to communicate either through drawing pictures or lines or emotions or just be through breathing exercises and being able to look with eye contact of each other and maybe squeezing each other's hands and thumbs and things like that. It's been a brilliant way of trying to get children to work with each other without necessarily having to know each other's language. I came up with the word shift because I was thinking about what do I like about both practices and it came to that one word of shift. They both transform me, they make me feel better and it's something that every day I always feel so grateful to have those tools because sometimes life can be really challenging and I've struggled with my mental health in the past and they've really helped me. Doing the yoga and the mindfulness, it brings you into the sensation of what it's like to be in the present moment. People use their senses, whether that be if you're stretching and you're feeling that, that stretch, it just puts you into that present moment instead of in your mind. We tried to introduce the idea of mindfulness at school and they, they have experienced very small bits of it in, within our school community, but nothing as fantastic as today. Being able to be in a really calm space with wonderful adults that are here to guide them and lead them, it's totally different. It's a really calming experience here. And we've been trying to teach children that actually it's not just physical pain, so to speak. You can have emotional pain and it's, it's really important to be able to forget about everything that's around you and being able to have some time to yourself. It's been great doing things here to really show that you're naturally all together we can be calm not just for five minutes but we can be calm for 30 minutes 40 minutes in one go which is brilliant. I think you'd be so surprised actually the younger they are the more natural mindfulness is for young people. The school that we have in today, Widden, they've invited me to go and do like a whole term of yoga. So there's things that have kind of come out of this experience. But also, I, my dream is to tour this project. It's fantastic as Robin to show children that school isn't just about the teachers and the teaching assistants that are in front of you every day. It's about learning from so many different people and it's wonderful to have such a great chance to do that.